Hello, I'm Greg Jarrett. You're in the Strategy Room. A Republican member of the Electoral College, Christopher Supran of Texas, is vowing to cast his vote against Donald Trump during the Electoral College meeting that's coming up December 19th because Trump, quote, shows daily he is not qualified for office. Suffering, a 9-11 first responder to the Pentagon, called on his fellow electors to do their job, using his words, and suggested a possible alternative. Ohio Governor John Kasich joining me now. Democratic strategist David Mercer, Republican strategist Brad Blakeman. Welcome to you both. David, uh, would you be willing to concede that this is a quixotic and futile effort to undermine the election results? Well, I would characterize it as one that... Uh, has little result in history of changing the election or the election results, I should say. Right. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, you know, they have a right to do it just as much as everybody had a right to vote. Uh, electors have a right, uh, as they're called, faithless electors. I think there have been 157 since 1796. And they have a right to, you know, the, to register their vote as electors. And uh, so it's not done until the electors vote. Uh, and little chance of overturning any election results. But yeah. that said, uh, they do have the right to do so. Uh, Brad, as to the recount uh, that's going on currently in Wisconsin, imminently in Michigan, and then there's Pennsylvania. Uh, and, I, and Pennsylvania is important because, you know, we'd have to flip all three in order for Hillary Clinton to actually win. And already Jill Stein has withdrawn her state court lawsuit. Now she's going to federal court. I mean, you're a lawyer. You don't see a federal judge doing anything but say, get out of here. That's right. Uh Elections are run by state officials and using state law. And uh, the state court already told her, you have no remedy here. As a matter of fact, you were deficient in not filing timely and following all the rules and regulations necessary to seek the relief that you were asking for. So a federal court is not going to give extraordinary relief and powers they don't have for a recount. They're going to, re they're going to say, you already got your answer from the state court. So there is no hope. In Pennsylvania, and as you correctly point out, if there's no hope in Pennsylvania, then the other two recounts are for naught. Um, you know, I'm wondering. But they're not for naught, though. If I, if I might say, really? they're not for naught. Everybody can go to bed when the president is sworn in, knowing that the election votes were, votes were all validated. I'm sleeping fine. Um, everybody behind. knows that they are. And they have no a, hope. But, but hope for what? No one's trying to change. They're not going to change the result. No, well, no one, but you keep implying that that's what they're trying to do when in actuality, and it's been on the record said, that the likes of Hillary or anybody else, and I would think that Donald Trump yeah. would want to know that the, vo the vote is verified. Well, which invites another question, Brad. Hillary Clinton uh, officially joined the Jill Stein effort on recounts, and now we've learned a coalition of electors reportedly <laughs> has been in touch with Clinton allies as it's trying to persuade Republican electors to ditch Trump. Um, you know, Hillary Clinton suddenly and magically seemed to have a get-out-of-jail-free card when Donald Trump said after the election he wasn't going to prosecute her. Is she squandering that card? Yeah, I'll nonsense. tell you what, she's, she's, squandering, Absolute and nonsense. She's, she's squandering all goodwill. <laughs> That, that she on. ever had. What, what, and what she's get also out of jail card does she need? She, she, she's, right. also getting, she's also getting away from the commitment she made in her concession speech, and that is to unite Which the American what? people. This is a ploy by her to, to delegitimize Donald Trump, and it's also a ploy to raise money. And, and, she, she only, and, it, and it's disgraceful. I mean, David, is she only height. tarnishing her own standing and legacy by doing this? I don't think so. With 2.6 million votes more than Donald Trump got nationally in this election. Yeah, but that's not how Second, you win the presidency. You yeah, know that, David. But, but, but well, you asked me a question. If I, you know, no one said, but that is a fact, uh, Greg, that she did win 2.6 million more votes than he did. That is not to say that she's using it to leverage in order to change election results. I'm not saying that. No one is saying that. So let her be the president of California. Let her be the president of California. We are looking to verify all of the votes, and a recount is sometimes necessary to do so. Period. Yeah, the but end. Only if there's not evidence out of, of political hay out election of fraud uh, that would be so widespread and material that it would actually change the outcome. That's and right. Brad, the leads here are so substantial by Donald Trump mm -hmm. that it just doesn't seem anything more than futile, does it? 
it, it is absolutely futile. As a matter so of fact, so if it's futile, I, let I it go on. No, let it it's go frivolous. on. It's frivolous. <laughs> it's because frivolous. It's a, it's a waste and, of and millions of dollars exactly. of taxpayer money. Exactly. And we shouldn't be uh, we shouldn't be empowering people to to use the system for frivolous purposes or political purposes. You cannot exactly. change the outcome. And if you can't change the outcome, what right. good is it? Gotta They're leave using it. it I doubt that that would purposes. be your response in the Bush v. Gore in Florida. <laughs> Put it that way. Boy, you really want to lead relitigate <laughs> history, don't you? We can go back to uh, Aaron yeah. Burr and Thomas Jefferson. Boy, that no, was a nail-biter. That's not as far back. That's All right. Let's have a duel. Well, okay. I remember that one well. I was a young lad at the time. David and Brad, thank you for joining us for thank complete you. political coverage. Stay right here at foxnews.com. I'm Greg Jarrett. Thanks for watching.